Hello and welcome to MicroCap Tutorials. My name is Paul. Today we're going to be doing operational amplifiers. So if we click the icon at the top, there's a dedicated function to be able to bring in an op amp. And in most cases, the invert non-inverting terminal will be at, uh, at the top and the inverting terminal will be at the bottom. As soon as you enter it in, it's going to ask you to select for a model. So you can choose one or the other. There's all sorts of characteristics about op amps that you might be interested in. Um, but uh, one of the things that you'll notice is that there's a VCC and a VEE. Uh, that comes from the original construction of the op amp being with bipolar junction transistors and there was a common collector and then there was a common emitter and that's where that nomenclature comes from. So as soon as we do that, Microcap decides that it wants to create power supplies for you. So if you go into this tab at the bottom, it's going to show you that it created a VC and a VE and that those networks can be used for anything that you want to. Uh, now. It, the op amps or the op amp models that are available in the stock version of microcap you know all of these ones they will not allow you to do a uh, more or less a, a, a single pole dc circuit so you can't put ground here and, and then your voltage up there you actually need to have a bipolar supply in order for this to work and we're going to show you the first version of how everything should be and then i'll remove this and put ground there and then show you what the result is which is disastrous but um so, spoilers, but anyway, set this to out, input, this to in, okay, we're ready to go. We just need some kind of source. So, we're going to go into our voltage sources. Let's click here. It's kind of the shorthand version, sign source, connected. Okay, I'm going to set this at 100 hertz, and we're going to set this at 5 volts. And then now all we need to do is add a ground to the source, and then we should be ready to go. Now, our expectations are that the output should mimic the input uh, with only a small amount of uh, delay or latency added because this has to propagate, there has to be some sort of wave propagation through the device as it's holding um, everything constant the way that an operational amplifier should. There are certain things about the op amp that have to be true, kind of the golden rules of op amps. And the way that we have this hooked up is that the output is equal to uh, the input here so that the voltage gets copied um, from the input to the output. It's called a voltage follower or a buffer. So we would expect that the signal here is 5 volts, uh, 5 volts above the origin and 5 volts below the origin, and then we can expect the, the exact same output. So let's run it in out on different plots and press OK. There you go. So it's exactly according to the expectation. Now if we were to run these on the same plot, we might see some overlap where there might be a little bit more green to the right, which is kind of like our delay signal. So it makes sense um, that there's slightly more delay um, as a result of the wave propagation and how it moves through uh, the operational amplifier. So um, that's all you really need to do for operational amplifiers. Sometimes they are useful to isolate characteristics. So you can take like a resistor divider on this side and a resistor divider on that side, and they don't, if they don't load each other. Um, this changes the impedance characteristics. So from the input impedance is supposed to be infinite or near infinite, and the output is supposed to be zero or near zero. So that allows you to uh, stage your circuits in a way where you could have a filter connected to a filter connected to another filter so long as you had them separated by um, operational amplifiers. So uh, that's, that's pretty much it. The only thing left to do is to show you this portion. So I'm going to remove the op amp. We're going to delete the power supply for a second. This is the um, emitter power supply. And we're going to put ground. I'm going to put it down here. That way we can wire up to it. OK, so you can buy devices that will do this. And I've used a lot of these kinds of devices. They're not hard to, to find or to, um, to use. But th this one in particular, all of the, the models that you have available in your stock package of microcap will not allow you to do this. So let's run the analysis and see what happens. So, oh, OK, all right, yep, obvious obvious issues with, with the fact that it's copying the waveform here, but then it's failing at the at the lower portions of it, which is what you would expect uh, for something like this. So just make sure that when you're putting these op amps that you, um, that you put in that secondary supply. And if this is part of a circuit that doesn't have a negative potential, you're going to have to mark that or annotate that so that you're con you're, you can draw the correct conclusions from your simulation um, in how they deviate from real world conditions. So that's about it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.